Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a very different video, a video that I honestly did not ever think that I would ever have on my channel. And it's a story time. And the reason why I'm doing a story time is because you guys have been asking me for more Law of Attraction videos. And this video is straight off the dome. I did not plan it. I did not know that I was doing it. I just decided that I was gonna do it just because I've been getting a lot of questions about, oh, do more Law of Attraction videos. And I was like, hmm, okay, maybe I should do a video showing them exactly how Law of Attraction or how speaking things into existence has worked in my life. For those of you who don't know, Law of Attraction is basically just speaking what you want into the existence and praying for it and having faith in it. In the Bible, it says that life or death is in the power of the tongue and that's pretty much Law of Attraction. Whatever you speak over your life is going to happen and whatever you think and your thoughts are super important. So you are in a sense very magical and you definitely have power to speak things into your life and you can do that by praying to God and you can do that by just talking verbally so that's basically what law of attraction is it's not any type of crazy thing or something like that that people normally think it is which okay we're not gonna get into that but that's what led me to where I am today. And now that I think about it, it's just so crazy. So I've been with my boyfriend for five years. So fast forward before I even met my boyfriend, I was in relationships that were just cheesy, I guess you could say. And I would always think to myself, and I would say to my friend, who was my one of my really good friends at the time, and I would say to her like, oh my God, like I'm just so sick of these boys. Like I'm so sick of running into little boys, I'm ready for an actual man. Like I really do want a man. Like I want him to be muscular. Like, yes, I had it down. Like I had it down all of what I wanted him to be. And I was like, I would, I would say, I would think that in my head and I would say it to my friend. I'd be like, I want him to be muscular. I want to be the man. I want him to be like just a really good person. That's for it to about two years afterwards i did say a prayer to god but it wasn't like i wasn't praying to him like god please bring me somebody i literally just said i swear i i swear i probably said that prayer once or twice i said it very like i'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what i said it was just like you know god please <laughs> you see what i'm going through <laughs> fast forward since about two years later i had then ran into this guy who is now my boyfriend and who is now in the love of my life. So I ran into him and what we bonded on was that we both love to like eat well and work out. Well, he loves to work out and I love to eat well. So because we both loved wellness and he loved to work out, we decided to go to the gym together. So we went to the gym together and while we were at the gym, we just had a, like a little bit of small talk. We were talking about all different things. Um, I wouldn't even call it small talk because we were actually talking about a lot of good things. So that's how we pretty much started our friendship and we like exchanged numbers. So a few days later, it was my birthday and we had seen each other and I was like, oh, like my birthday's tomorrow. And I remember him like, oh, okay, yeah, your birthday's tomorrow. I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh, okay, well, I'll take you out for your birthday. And I was like, okay. But I wasn't expecting that because normally, like I told y'all, I've been messing with boys. I was messing with boys. And normally they were just like, if you tell a boy that it's your birthday, just be like, oh, okay, like how old are you turning? Or, oh, okay. And so when he was like, oh, I'm gonna take you out or whatever, if you're okay with that, I was like, sure, okay. So the next day we went out for my birthday and I was like, and he asking me like, where do you wanna go for your birthday? And we didn't really talk a whole lot about it, but I just told him, I was like, I don't know. Um, I don't know. So I was like, okay, so let me guess. He's gonna take me to Olive Garden. <laughs> I was literally thinking that. I was like, watch he takes me to Olive Garden. And I didn't really care if he did, but I was just like, watch he takes me to Olive Garden. So we ended up meeting up later that day and he was like, okay, so I made reservations at this restaurant. Um, if you wanted to meet there, wait, you made reservations? Like, I was kind of shocked. I was like, okay, he made reservations. Where is he taking me? So when we got to the restaurant, it was a super upscale restaurant, very nice. 
and I tried to act like I was so used to it. I was like, oh, okay, like, whatever, this ain't nothing. But in my head, I was like, wow, like, he took me out? I don't know, like, I know a lot of people be like, oh, you're not used to that? Oh, like, yeah, I'm not really that type of person. Like, I appreciate the gesture of what people do, no matter how normalized it should be. Like, that was really nice of him. So I really, that was a good impression. And of course, we were still getting to know each other so it wasn't like i was like oh yeah like that's about to be my man i was still just like i don't know where this will go you know it's just a friend we're just going out for dinner so we literally sat there and we talked in that restaurant until it was closed until the waiter was coming up to us like um is there anything else oh, okay yeah we close in 30 minutes but it's fine you guys can sit here <laughs> that's how long we were talking so anyways we ended up leaving that place of course um at the closing time so at this point we were just we text sometimes we were talking and then as time went on i was like okay i think i kind of like him like he's cool like i like how mannerable he is and how calm he is when he talks and i like how he takes his time with stuff i was like okay i like him so i remember i went out of town with my friends and the whole time i was out of town with my friends i kept thinking about him i was like what in the world like why do i keep thinking about this man i don't even know him with it my friend was like are you thinking about that guy and i was like no i'm not thinking about him like i don't care about him he's so lame anyways when we ended up coming back from our trip i was like i thought to myself i was like okay this definitely is the guy for me this definitely is something i don't know what it is like but this is something like he ha we have a, a really good connection so we ended up meeting up again and this time we were just talking about everything and my one friend actually got to meet him and my friend at the time and i told her i was like you know, this is like, he's very mannerable. Like, I really like him. And when my friend seen him, this is the same friend that I had told about how I wanted a man with muscles and stuff like that two years ago. And so when she seen him, the next, like, I swear, like two two weeks later, she, she me and her got together and she was like, do you, do you see what's going on? And I was like, what are you talking about? And she's like, are you blind? Like that guy he looks just like the guy that you said that you wanted that one time and i was like yeah <laughs> and she was like okay don't you think that's a little weird that you're dating someone who you literally said that you wanted to date and i was just thinking to myself i'm like no like i don't care so after that i started to think about it a little bit and i thought about it and i'm like oh my god but at the same time i still was like whatever like it doesn't mean anything so fast forward to about two years of us talking um when i started to get more into my own path and getting more into knowing myself i started to realize that wait a minute like something literally I was sitting on the couch and something literally clicked in my head one day when I was just so like, I was just writing down a bunch of stuff. This is when I was just getting way more into myself and I was writing and I was like, wait a minute. I think I manifested him. This is when I started to learn all about that. I'm like, I think I manifested him because this guy is literally what I used to say that I wanted. And now he's here. And I think that I attracted him to me like I think that I asked for that so after that I ended up meeting a girl who is now one of my good friends and she's a youtuber actually she does like um, psychic videos so I ended up talking to her and she's like very intuitive one day we were just talking on the phone and I was just telling her about a lot of stuff and she's and she was telling me a lot of stuff and she was like your, your partner is perfect for you like that's who God sent to you and I remember saying to myself I'm like okay like all right so she's like do you remember do you remember praying for him and i tell you guys when i tell you this this girl when i tell you she changed my life <laughs> she knew stuff that i have never told anybody i never told any of my friends that i prayed for a guy i only would tell them verbally like oh i want a man i want i want like a real man but i would never tell them that i went to god about this so when she told me she's like you remember that you prayed for him and I was like, no, I didn't pray for him. Cause I didn't know what to say. I, I didn't even remember that I prayed for him, honestly. So she was like, no, yeah, you did. You prayed for him. And God sent you this man 
that you pray for. And I started to go back in my memory bank and I'm like, oh, yes, I prayed for him. But that wasn't even like, that wasn't a prayer. That wasn't like a heart filled prayer. Like that wasn't like a, like a soul. I wasn't like begging God for it. I just prayed for him. Like I only prayed for that like once or twice. And it was like, you know, it wasn't anything crazy. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. When you ask God for something and it's something that needs to be in your life anyways, he's going to send it to you. So at that moment, I had realized that, yes, I pray for this. I spoke it into my life and he sitting here in the flesh. He's in the flesh now. <laughs> I remember after that moment of talking to her, I started to cherish my relationship so much more because when I found out that like God was the one who sent that this person to me. When I figured out that he was physical manifestation of what I wanted, it made me feel more secure and also more grateful for him. So I started to really like think about it like that. I was like, oh my God, like this is amazing. Like God is real. God is real. And I know this has turned into like some type of like sermon, but God is real. Like anybody who ever doubts no, he's real. If something is supposed to be in your life and you pray for it, all you have to do is ask if that's meant to be in your life and you're ready for it. Like God wasn't going to send him to me right when I prayed for him because I was in the middle of toxic relationships and just a bunch of messy stuff. And he wasn't going to send in that guy at that moment. No, he waited for the perfect time, which was actually two years later when I had forgot all about it for him to go and come through my life, which even now me telling you guys, this is just, I've just, I'm thinking about all this stuff. Like, okay, this goes the same thing for when I think about stuff that I want now and God's not sending it to you right now because you're not ready for it right now. It has to come in when everything is on divine timing and perfect and God's eyes fast forward to now i'm very very happy with him and i see more and more that our relationship gets 10 times better and i definitely definitely can see why he was sent to me and why i was probably sent to him like it's just very crazy and i cannot wait to marry him like this was de definitely um the universe just working in like my favor so yeah, that was my story time. That was how I manifest my lover. And also he is my twin flame. So I really do just appreciate everything about this story. And it's very dear to my heart. I know that I wasn't able to give you guys like the full picture of it, but just know that your words are super powerful. Your thoughts are super powerful. Your prayers are super powerful. No matter how small or no matter how not you know big you think they are it's big to god and when you ask him for something he takes it very serious especially if it's something that he knows that is supposed to be in your life anyways lastly guys never give up on what it is that you want out of life it doesn't have to come exactly when you want it to it just comes whenever the universe is ready to present it to you and that is going to be the perfect time just go with what you feel on your gut feeling like i've always known that this was going to be somebody that I was gonna be with. I really, really adore my partner. And he's very personal, so that's why he doesn't want to get on YouTube. So a lot of people ask that. He doesn't wanna get on YouTube because he he's even more personal than me. He's very personal. So he's not even on social media. And it's not because of any crazy reason, like I've been with him for this long and I've never found any crazy thing. Like he's never been cheating on me or any, I, we've never had an issue with that. Trust me, I would know. <laughs> and so it's not anything like that. I know that's the first place that people's mind go when people say that their partners don't have social media. Because I know that you guys will really be into that and that it will be very successful if I was to put him on my channel. But I'm not a person who's about views and stuff like that. Especially when it comes to my personal life, things that are very special to me. I'd rather not do that. I would like for him to come when he's ready. So if he's ever ready to come on my channel, then he'll come on, but I'm not gonna force him. I'll probably put up a picture of him one day. Just wanted to leave you guys with this story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. Um, so like I said, this is my first story time, of course, in the moment. So the story was probably all over the place. I'm in my room 
I'm bored. My hair is crazy looking. So, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, like I said, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.